Good morning, Site Plan Review Committee meeting for November 20th, 2018. Site Plan Review members present today are the City Assessor Dana Brandeforti, the Police Chief James Guido, Building Inspector Ben DeCristoforo, myself, Frank Stridge, City Planner, our City Engineer Nick Rystrom, our DPW Superintendent Paul Argenzio, and our Plumbing Inspector Mark Locke. The first site plan is 61 Kingman Ave. Anybody here for 61 Kingman? No. Uh, 54 Beach Road. Oh, you are 61 Kingman. Okay. Yes. Come on up. Have a seat. Have a seat. And tell us what you want to do. Two. Do you have a, t a site plan there showing the, uh, the property? So what we need to see is a plot plan showing that you're providing four parking spaces because you need four parking spaces of two family. Yeah, there is enough space for six. There is enough. All right, you need to. I, Identify that on a plan that you get exactly you have exactly the number of parking spaces required for parking spaces. <clears throat> Once you do that, then you can go to the and, and apply for a building permit for the conversion and new York, new occupancy. Does it look like they have house size? So they have some in the front. Yes. That's where they're talking about parking in the front. Oh, they have existing parking in the front. Yeah. But they have, this is all open, so two. But they one, two, three, four, maybe? Yeah, well, we don't know what don't the know. setback is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so you need, a, you need to come back with a plot plan. Yeah, show us that you have the four parking spaces. Okay. And the illegal parking spaces. Uh, the, um, the meeting is necessary to the come back for the meeting? Uh, yes, you can come back here. We meet every Tuesday at Tuesday 10 o'clock. Next week. Next week. The 10th of morning? Yeah, if you provide that plan, then we okay. can give you direction from there. Okay. Sure, but, but keep in mind, you have to meet all today's code and standards. <coughs> right. Electrical, plumbing, building, yeah. and fire yeah. codes, okay? Yeah. Why? I, I'm not quite sure. Have you reviewed that? It does, you don't have two means of egress out of that, that basement unit. Uh, two, two, two. No, two, two eggs. Unless this is proposed. Do you remember I, I, I the don't, window? No, windows are not considered no, uh, in the no. uh, Emergency no, egress windows, window, yeah. No, 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 no. We can we can review well well we can review for code compliance afterwards, but that's that would be a second step. Okay. 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 One question. Um the the ready um uh, is necessary that is coming for the, the fire. For the approval, primero se va a aprobar aquí, va. Sí, y después al departamento de bomberos, de fire. Yeah, fire department has to stamp and approve the plan. Mientras no lo aprueban aquí, no podemos ir. Entonces tenemos que ir primero allá. Al departamento, number one is the the is coming the fire. Let's come back here. You get it. Don't let's let's go through the steps. First step is is coming back here, showing us the plan, okay. and then the next step would be code compliance. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. All right. Okay. I understand. Okay. All right. Good luck. Okay. More question. That's it. Just see Good you luck. next week or when you have the plot plan. Come back to us. Thank you for your time. We have a site plan for 54 Beach Road. Good luck. <laughs> Page um, is what exists now. The top page is what we're proposing: uh, two-family um, 
4,800 square foot lot, 60 foot frontage, all uh, side yards and uh, setbacks are met. Um, height restriction will be met. Um, we moved the parking outside, um, side by side, uh, as you required. We made it one cent center entrance um, on the, uh, on the, the, so it wouldn't be a duplex style. Um, wouldn't have to offset the, uh, the units. Yeah. So, Joe, Joe, just one question. I'm yep. confused on what is what is this plot? Of, is this is there still a garage under? No, the, that is, won't be a garage. It? It'll be living space. Okay. He just he didn't hasn't revised it okay. that much, but okay. it'll, it could be a utility room or storage. Um, so, but it won't be a, a garage. The two spaces are here. In here. So that that violates the Correct. parking yeah. in the front yard. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we, we can you, do you can stack them <coughs> tandem. Yeah, All right, we could do go, that. You'd have yep. to go that, and, and yeah. this has to be green yep. space. Okay, you've got ten, you've we got plenty of room. Yeah, or you could put the garages back and park them. Uh, if, the if, yeah, I mean, we took the garages out because you wanted us to. Yeah, so you need forty percent green open space in the front, yep. and no, no parking in the front yard unless there's a garage under. So you you make and a then decision. The left side could be green. Space. Uh, either available. If, if both are available, I'll just let them choose which yeah. way. So we can do one under. Yeah. And either one way. In front as on, long as you maintain the forty percent green space. Yeah. Forty percent. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. We can do that. So I'll come back with that plan, and we need elevation plans of the building. I'm not sure you know what that's. Hmm? That stage yet in a front. Okay. Yeah. No, we need a certified. No, not a survey. Plot, yeah. plot plan, like yeah, certified plot plan. Just put two spots right here. That's it. Green space in the front. Okay, so I'll come back with that once you decide which way they're going to go with the parking and elevation, and elevation plans. Okay. You can. All right. Good. Okay. Thank okay. you, guys. Site plan review for 5 Ward Street. Solar panel. What? The solar panel be coming. All right, site plan for 63 Emanuel Street. Okay, tell us what you would like to do. Okay. Okay. Uh, my father has um, a, a small like, um, project at its um, taxes, and he wants to start um, uh, like a project to it. He has an office. It says livery service here. Yes, yeah. it's livery. Yeah, see, that's not allowed in the residential district, so we couldn't have a, li a livery it's business true. in the, in a residential area. Yeah, no, it's no. If, if they have a license for livery, it has to be in a, in a commercial district. Yeah, it's not part of his uh, home app, uh, home occupation, which is oh. a lot in home. Okay. Sorry. He has to find an office in a commercial zoned area, general business or highway business or neighborhood business zone. You have to find out, look at the city zoning map, find out those areas that are zoned business, and then look for an office in those areas. Then you can have your livery service out of that office. <laughs> Unfortunately, we get a lot of requests for these, and we have to deny them because they're not allowed in residential areas. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Site plan for 495 Revere Street. Today on um, 495 Revere Street, um, we went in originally and we took out a uh, building, plumbing and electrical permit for the renovation of a bathroom, um, which we did, and I believe um, 
uh, Mateo and Mark have signed off on it, and um, Lewis came down with the building permit to yeah. look at it, and the owners had done um, some additional work. It used to be a nail salon, um, a hair salon rather, on 495, it's right on the corner by North Shore Road. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so what they wanted to do is they wanted to convert it into residential, but they didn't do any of the steps that was necessary to do it. So when um, they had taken out some storefront windows that were originally there for the salon, they put in some smaller, energy efficient, um, you know, double hung windows. Um, they, um, they've done, you know, they put in, there was a kitchen already in place, they took it out, put new cap, put a new sink in. Yeah, sure. They did everything no, because we were because what it, what happened is we originally had a plumbing permit be, for the bathroom before they started anything. So we went in and created the bathroom. Right. They had they had a half bath there with a a thirty inch it's shower right. stall. But then we then I discovered. Oh no, I don't. Yeah. Right, I, but I don't. Right, right. I agree with you. What, on the on the on the bathroom on the first floor, what we originally took out the permit for, they had a 30-inch shower stall. I don't know if you were ever in there. It was too small, so they said, "What we'd like to do is we'd like to take the shower stall out and put a tub in." So we came down and took out the building permit to do that. The work came after that we had taken out the permit last year to do that. So the owner had closed off the storefront window. There was no structural, like removing a wall. Were there any other residential units in the building? Or uh, there, there, there appears store? it was, there was two up on the second floor. There's a bathroom up there with two bedrooms, and it's all, you know, nobody reconfigured it or anything. It's, you can tell when you get up there, the slope ceilings, and it's always been there. What those rooms were used for bedrooms or not, there's no way to, I, I, I couldn't speak on that. So you're, you're converting it to a single family, basically. What they want to do is go to a single, they want to go from commercial to a single family. Yeah. So that's part of the reason we're here today. So that's including the second story part of that unit? It, it's always been, there's always been two stories, the staircases are all existing, so whatever work they've done has been, you know, you know, the uh, whatever electrical or plumbing right. they did in the upstairs bathroom. I, I wasn't aware of the any plumbing upstairs. Is there, so. is there parking? Yeah, there's like, yeah. I get a plot plan. There's like 10 parking spots. I, I've been through um, a lot of this with Lewis Benny, and I think yep. he's, you know, been talking to you guys about it. But um, but my question is, the second yes. story will be incorporated. Yes, in the first it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's going to be a single family, yeah. and that's for the parking chief. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's, there is ample parking out back. It's actually a pretty good sized yard. So I guess I'm here today just to, to, to come in and to, to be able to take out a building permit to have the, the proper inspections done. Um, I brought pictures of the kitchen cabinets. I got a floor plan where the smokes are. Um, it's a 110 volt system. We're putting it inside and outside all the bedrooms. They I actually are <coughs> still doing most of them are already in. They, small. they had a kitchen in the mine and had a sink. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And what they did is they pulled out all of the cabinets yeah. and put new cabinets on. And of course they did. Oh, right, 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 and that's why when we came back, we said, this isn't what we signed up for, so, so, and there was a building permit, well, what they did is actually, all of the, well, all of the room, all of the rooms are exactly the same, like that, you mentioned that. Do they finish, did the, the finishes and everything? Yeah, yeah, so, I, so, that? these, oh, oh I'm sorry. The yeah. kitchen? Oh, yeah, absolutely. The kitchen was already there. It was already a kitchen always there, but it was the old-style cabinets because I remember going in when they were there. They were the old wood. And is this kitchen know. on the second floor? No, it's on the first floor. First floor. Yep. So, so, I think they're only on the second floor. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Of how, and, the, and no walls were moved to my knowledge or anything. Right? Like, the boilers in the basement. Okay, so you, I have a, on the, I'm sorry, on the basement, on the bottom, I made a note. There's a CO2, a uh, carbon That's photo awesome. in the basement. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't draw the basement for you. But those, most of those rooms are pretty much exactly where they were um, from the first time I went in. When it was a salon, there's a little yeah. front room um, that used to be a waiting area, a sitting area, yeah, that had a big window. They closed in all the windows. But the doorway and everything still remained the same. They, there wasn't a lot of, they didn't change entry doors. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. They didn't change any entry doors or anything to my knowledge, you know. And um, 
So submit your as-built floor plans to the building department. Yeah, yeah. so, so you can submit, submit, a, submit an application online. <coughs> have you done that already? I, I've already, yeah, well, I have one from last year on the bathroom, and I've already submitted another one, but it came back that I had to come to the site. Yeah, okay. So, I, I did so, about five so you can move forward in that process. You just have to bring everything up to the, today's codes and standards. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So where they, where they framed in the windows and stuff, do, do you want me to open up the wall? Yeah, yeah. so oh, that's up that's, to the inspector that, right. okay. that reviews it and goes comes out there. He may want you to open some walls. Okay. My Absolutely. guess is, yeah, just to make sure everything's properly yeah, insulated. Yeah, front wall. And you're just going to have to meet, yep, you're going to have to meet the, the today's code and okay. standards. That's okay. fine. That's, that's what we're Any electrical right. plumbing, I mean, it's it's yep. up to the discretion of the inspector. I spoke to him. What has to open up. Yep. 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 So I, I, I no exterior additions or anything. Just maintaining no, no, the it's, same it's, footprint. It's the same foot. The room that you're looking at now was was a waiting area, and they yep. used to have big glass windows, and they closed all the windows. Yep. And that's basically, you know, they put a door on. It, it, you know, it, the structure didn't change. It's, yep. it, it, so now, while I'm here, I, I um, just is it a what process does it go to become residential now from commercial to residential? So you're going to pull a building permit yes. from the building permit. It's going to go into an occupancy. Okay. And okay. it just does it. That's once the once all the sign sign offs are done by each discipline, then then we we'll, we we'll move okay. forward with an occupancy. All right. So okay. I'll take out the permit for the kitchen, the, the first floor bathroom, shower. In all your electrical. Yep. Right. Okay. okay. I, I I honestly I'll, I will double check. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So well, electrical, I'll... plumbing, and regular building permits. And, yeah. and, and, and fire. And fire. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Very much. Right. Happy Thanksgiving. Hello. Hello. No, no, no problem. 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 If you take your time. Yeah. Right. More questions? Yeah. We can actually to solve this end of it. You can come out of the fire department at 8 to 10. Yep. 3 30, 4 30, Monday through Thursday. Okay. Thursday. Okay. And <laughs> so pretty much budget. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And Thank you, guys. And yeah, maybe I'll sell a little time to look at those. There's a couple of tweaks we're going to do to that. Perfect. <coughs> we'll mock it up, stamp it. You can upload that as part of your permit process. Okay. That's how you get by us. Okay. All right. Beautiful. All right. Hey, thank you guys very much. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Nice to see you. Thank you. Right. Uh, site plan for 46 Arcadia Street. Uh, here. Site plan for 450 Revere Beach Boulevard. Hi, Christine. Again. Hello again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel. Too. <laughs> so I've abandoned everything that I've been doing with <clears throat> the um, Zoning Board of Appeals. Although I do have the permission already to turn this into a two-family. So basically taking the existing structure, putting a line down the middle, and making it just a small two-family. Um, OK, so no exterior. Uh, additions, just an existing structure, Correct. interior changes to make it a two-family. Uh, there's a half bath that will be turned into a full bath, and there'll be an work? additional kitchen, 9650, like something 9, like that. 9600. Yeah. So basically, um, I, I uploaded this too, but, you know, drawing a line down the middle of a house. This is now a half bath, it'll become a full bath. This is the existing kitchen, we'll add an additional kitchen. Everything else pretty much stays as is. Uh, okay, so the only thing I didn't, I think we mentioned was that you are on the floodplain, obviously. Yeah. And if you're going to hit substantial renovation, which my guess is you're going to, you have to find out where your base flood elevation is and where your first floor lies in relationship to that. Well, I have an elevation certificate, but it, there really isn't as much as you might think um, as far as renovations and stuff go. Well, is this an existing two family? It's an single. existing single. It's a single. Yeah. But, you know, it Separating the electrical is pretty straightforward because it's already by room, so, so we're going to have to add a panel, obviously, but it still isn't really going to be as expensive as you might think. And as far as interior, like you said, we're adding the kitchen and, and uh, increasing the yeah. size of the bathroom, but... It's like a garage. Yeah, the garage yeah. under. You tarp over, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, two one-bedroom units, is that what yeah, you're going to convert exactly. it to? So, so you're renovating every, both units, total renovation? No, not really. I mean, for the most part, like I said, th this, this kitchen's going to be updated, and this kitchen is going to be new. Mm -hmm. um, this bathroom... Yeah, I think this is going to need to be a, a living room. I, I played around with the, trying to make this a kitchen-living room combo, and it really doesn't work very well. So this will be a living room, and this will be the bedroom. <coughs> Mm 
Where's the front? Of the, the front of the house. The front of the house. Yeah. Right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these guys will enter through the existing front door, and these guys will enter through the existing side door. <laughs> well, that I wanted to talk to you about that. Does it have to be off the bedroom or just anywhere in the house? I'm sorry? The, the second, second means of egress. Is that, can that be anywhere in the house or it have to be from the bedroom? Uh, no, it cannot be from a bedroom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, um, the, the other question I have on that is can it be under the garage, Because I mean under the house, because right now the second egress is you go down the, down the basement stairs and out through the garage. Is that legal or it has to be like a... I'm sorry, I, say that one more time. Uh, right now the second egress would be that you... Uh, go down the stairs into the basement and go out through the garage. Is that legal? Or? That is not legal, no. Okay, so I have to, then what I would have to do, I think, because back here is the but, sewer But Christine, let me, let me just start. So I think what we're going to have to do is you're going to have to provide some numbers to substantiate that this is not a substantial renovation. Okay. Because, again, you are in the floodplain. My guess is that you're below base flood elevation. Yeah, so, I, I have so, that, like I said, if you want to see that. Uh, what I have right now, it's, it's not tarped. It, it has rubber on it, but it's a non-permanent solution. I'm just going to leave it like that because what's going to happen, one of two things so is going to happen. Is, uh, Either in the next five years the whole house is going to get torn down or I'm going to take that roof off and put a pitch on it because it's, it's very shallow and it's always going to leak, I think. Twelve. So it's a goal. Well, not this year because I don't have the money for it and I don't know whether, you know what I mean, whether the house is going to stay. Because it's really, you know, but this is at least it will allow me to get some of my money back for a little while until I figure out what to do next. So, yeah, it is elevated. Oh, from the others. Well, the problem I have with this whole thing is this is the sewer easement, so I can't go out there, and and there's only about three feet of. Um, until the neighbor's yard on this side, so really it's going to have to be Would you say it's 11? Yep. This is 11. So, uh, so I don't know, you know. And this is, the, this, is, this, <laughs> this is the, the surveys for the yeah. finished construction, so this is an existing structure. I mean, unless, I don't know if this is legal, unless we kept a door here so that people could come out through each other's doors, I don't know. No. So what can we do? Well, utilities downstairs? And, and yeah. Under the first floor? Right now, I mean. Which means you may need a, a utility room on the second floor, to bring it above the uh, flood zone. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that's <coughs> established base flood elevation. Bless you. You, you, you. You're below it, Christine. Yeah. yeah. You're below it. Yeah. But she's nine. Yeah. yeah. Four. Yeah, I mean, the long term plan, like I said, is this house is going to eventually have to come down. But in the short term, I'd mm -hmm. like to. Yep, I, I mean I understand that, but again, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to substantiate the dollars. Um, so you know, would that be like happens. estimates from contractors? Yeah, you're or something? contractual value of what what your square footage uh, and what your renovate total renovation dollars are, um, as opposed to the structure value. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And, and what, what's, what's the value, value? Do you have, already have a certified plot plan for the existing structure? Yeah. I have a better survey, but it shows the um, basically the, the same thing. It just shows you don't have what the existing conditions on. Uh, no. It shows that I know the building you were looking at. Well, this has this shows the, the same. It's the same footprint. It just shows more parking than what's there right now. <clears throat> that was when we were going to make a bigger two family there. It's really. So how's awesome. the parking getting along now? Well, you've, we've got the garage. The garage and the driveway. In the driveway. I'm not going to change the parking. So it's one in the garage, one in the driveway, and where are the other two? Well, you can park behind the garage, right? And then yeah, so you got garage and then the driveway? Yeah, and then this whole thing's the driveway as well. And then here and there? Yeah. And then each of this one block? No, actually, you can fit two cars here and still get in and out of it. You can actually fit two here, too. But um, also, I have permission from this house, so what I usually do is just drive down here and come down, so it's almost like a... You don't have 
leave, like, you don't have... Like, I don't have an easement. It's just a... Right, right. The only what, parking e the only easement I have is this. But, yeah, it's a handshake, exactly. <laughs> so it's the only rational plan to, to make on this because it's such an odd-shaped lot. Yeah. You can't really do anything else with it and just hold it until... It, the only value it has is if, it, if it's combined with other parcels and for a larger development. So yeah. in the meantime, I think it's a good interim use converted to a thing for two family. Yeah. So. Just to stop the bleeding, you know, yeah. that's what I'm trying to do here. But yeah, if I have to, if I have to, like... Yes, so just put some values together, or, or some contracts, mm -hmm. uh, some contract values together, and then we can figure it out. You have to be, so you, to have substantial renovation, you have to be 49% of the value of the structure and below, or below. Well, right now, I can tell you that, you know, the whole budget is going to have to be less than 20000 because that's what I have. <laughs> then you'd be okay. Yeah. Because I think your number is going to be right around fifty thousand. Yeah. Uh, just based on the the, the the structure value right now. Yeah. Stands. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot of this work. I know you. I know you need to see what someone else would charge, but a lot of this work I'm going to have to do myself. So. Well, it's, it's going to be retail value. Right. right? Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'll get so some you, you quotes have a and pretty stuff. Pretty good buffer there. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing. Plumbing and electrical, I try to do it. Like I'll put the I'll put the boxes up, but I don't want to tie anything into the box. And I'll, you know, just. But it's not like I said. The plumbing in the in the this bathroom is everything staying where it is. This kitchen, everything staying where it is. This is a new kitchen, obviously. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, do you have any suggestions or thoughts on that? Because I I'm really limited with this lot. Yeah. Because in the back, there's the sewer easement. I, I mean, I think you're going to be picking the kitchen. And now we get regressed in that area. In the back, right. On the other side. Right. Yeah. Well, this kitchen, you can combine the kitchen with the living room and create an egress here. Right. Well, there is an egress. Oh, that, there is. That's, yeah, that's, that's the way. There's no second egress. Oh, yeah. But, well, but the thing you don't see, too, is that these houses are two different heights. So these stairs, this is like a half a level up to these two rooms. So, oh, you step up, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so even if the kitchen's here, you'd have to... I mean, I get, you could submit the drawings and the, all the values, and then we can, whoever the local inspector is that's approving it, try to, figure can try out to work with you the best he can. We don't typically give yeah. design advice, but we'll try to see how we can... Try to get another... Yeah, you can in ask there. questions, and we can, we can kind of go back and forth. All right, give you suggestions. Yeah. 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 All righty, thank you very much. Okay. I'm surprised we're so busy this morning. I thought it was just us. <laughs> okay, that concludes our site plan review committee meeting for November 20th. Thank you.